Hello friends, doing something a little bit different today. I haven't painted on canvas in a long time. So I'm going to do a swipe today using a new method, I guess, just a really a new pouring medium that I've mixed. And I am starting here, I've got a 10 by 20 inch canvas. And because my background is dark, I am going to go ahead and just take some paint. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, excuse the dirty hands, I've been painting a while. And I am going to, I've already painted the sides and now I'm just painting the top edges because I can't stand when canvas pokes through. You know, if I blow on something too hard, just got my bag. And since it's black, it's pretty obvious when you got light shining through. I've got a new pouring medium today. It is a 50-50 mix of Liquitex pouring medium and flood, flow troll. However, I've got some Australian flow troll for all the blooming that I do. So I put about three quarters of the US and one quarter of the Australian into my pouring medium. And then it's one to one, the flow troll mixture and the pouring medium. My background today is, oh, whoops, uh, wet countertop. <laughs> Sorry, now you're gonna have to look at that ugly spot. So uh, black, and this is again, the Artist Law Flow Acrylic in black. And then I have to go kind of in the middle, it's like custom mixed dark purple. And this is several different colors mixed into my pouring medium. And it's got kind of a shine and shimmer, which is pretty hard to see on camera. In fact, I'm sure you can't see it at all. So you think I'm crazy, but I will tell you what's in here. Um, some of the black that I just showed you, a little bit this Joe Sonia background color. Um, the, I don't even, does this, well, it's purple, but it doesn't seem to have, <laughs> maybe I just can't read. I don't know. It's purple. And then we've got some of the Artist Loft uh, Metallic Violet and then some Studio Acrylics uh, Pebio in Blue Noir Iridescent mixed in. So this is a painting. It's uh, for a client. I am also a real estate agent and this is a closing gift. She wanted a painting, so she wanted purple, black, white and gold. Uh, this is my gold. This is everybody's favorite, of course, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Then I've got a white, which is mixed of several different things. It is the pouring medium that I mixed earlier with a little bit of this Liquitex iridescent medium. And then I have got some of this folk art iridescent flash in it. And then Artist Loft Metallic White. Next, I've got this gorgeous copper color, which was not in the request. However, copper and, you know, orange and purple <laughs> go together so well on the color wheel that I could not put some copper in here. This is a mix of Extreme Sheen Antique Bronze and Pebio Iridescent Copper. This last color is my absolute fave that I think I've ever come up with. And this is Folk Art Color Shift. This is Blue Violet Flash, and then it mixed with Amsterdam Acrylics uh, Kaput Mortem Violet. The violet is dead. Mortem. It is kaput. It is no more. <laughs> what a really strange name for color. I chose this because it is semi-transparent. A lot of the other pinks I have are totally opaque, but I wanted the semi-transparent so they would mix nicely in Hala. That's gorgeous. Have you ever seen a color like that? It's like perfect. I'm gonna use this all the time now. <laughs> okay, so I've got those paints and then I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna add some boom gel. And if you have never painted with boom gel, this stuff is great. You can use it right out of the bottle. You don't have to mix it with anything. And it makes really great cells. Here I've got Man Crab Blue, which is, um, there's no shine or shimmer in that one. But then I've got pearlescent mauve and pearlescent violet. So all these colors together should give me what I'm going for, which is the black, white, gold, and purple. It's time. Oh, methinks I didn't make enough black. Let's go ahead and let that 
And then here I've got my purple mixture for the center. I definitely did <laughs> not make enough. So uh, excuse me while I quickly whip up some more. I guess it kind of blew my load on the first painting, which was beautiful and turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I forgot to hit record. I'll show it to you, you know, side by side with whatever this one's going to be, and just so you can see the same colors and the same technique and two totally different, I'm sure, results. <clears throat> that one I made the faux pas of not painting the sides first, so this one, ha <laughs> ha, I'm on top of things. With help of the world's tiniest blower, I'm going to blow this together. All right, all blown out, got blown out over the edges, so whatever edges are not wet. I'm gonna just dab real quick because you want wet edges. So the paint will flow over the edges. And if it doesn't flow over the edges, it can get stuck and then you might not get the results you're looking for. All right, I think we're good. I think everything's wet, let's go. I'm gonna start with my gold. Next, got my copper. I'm gonna do white twice because in my first one, the white really didn't show through at all. And since it's one of the colors she wants, I need a little more than I had. My husband's walking, watching Shark Week, it sounds like in the next room. That is awesome. Sharks are cool. Okay, Mana Crab Blue Boom. Still <laughs> gel stain. This you can only get, um, it's made in uh, Land Down Under, Australia. So you have to order it. I've got a link below to Fluid Art Co., um, which is like my favorite website. You can, uh, I'm not using any of this particular work, but you can also get this little piggy pigments there and Australian Float Roll. Okay, next I'm gonna do another bit of white. You don't have to be too fancy, you know? Okay. And I'm gonna add this wicked color. I don't even know what to call it, but it sure is pretty. When you're working with boom gel, you don't have a ton of time, so you gotta be pretty quick, you know? Hence, I'm just going real fast or layering down my colors. A little more of this in places because it's just so pretty. I should say. I 
All right, and I'm going to top it off with the pearlescent mauve. My swipe tool today is just a damp paper towel. I'm going to do start kind of close to the gold. Just lay it down. Swipe away. There is no silicone in any of my colors. I did not do that. some smaller cut pieces. I'm going to lay this in the gold. Oh, too big. Tear in half. Try again. hollowed out pen and I'm going to touch pour. messy up in here. composition which I'm kind of liking right there I'm gonna take one of my unused swipe tools and put my hands I should really wear gloves but I uh, I just don't okay so the first thing is I've got some schmutz in here that I can see so I'm gonna take a skewer and get whatever that crap that is out Make sure you strain your flow tool. I did, but there's still crap in there. Oh, it's just a bubble. Alright. Now I go to torch again. Not much is coming up really just because I just don't use silicone. So I'm gonna blow that out a little bit. too much cold on that edge. Gosh, you know, I am 
be happy with that. Let's see if I can move it just enough so you can see it all. Yes, it's kind of like mother of pearly and stuff. I like it. I'll take in for a close up and then, you know, tomorrow I'll show you what it looks like dry. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Sweet. All right, bringing it in for a close up. It is fresh, it is wet, it's real pretty. Look at the gold. Yeah. This is a good one. I'm gonna have to play with this technique a little more often. Sometimes I get caught in a rut and I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and I just need to do something different. All those pretty little fine cells, it's like a rock. You can see how subtle that is, that dark purple in the background and then that gold interacting. She's a pretty one. And here it is dry. You can see the shimmer and the shine and how the color shifts as you move from side to side. The first painting, exact same colors, except that I used more gold, less white. So this one really shines. This is for a fan of gold. <laughs> and this one, I liked the vertical look, so I just didn't tilt it very much. I think that part's really cool. There you have them together. Exact same paints, same method, just more gold and less tilting on the bottom. Enjoy! Thanks for watching.